Good morning. Happy September 16th. I went to bed at 6.30 last night. I ate that big bowl of vegetables and went to bed. My husband and I are, we're pretty, we're so good. I'm going to say we're so good at doing that. We let each other tap out when we know the other one needs to. And I needed to, I needed to tap out. So I started sleeping at 6.30. I didn't know if that was going to be a nap or my night's sleep. I didn't care. I needed to sleep. So here we go on September 16th. I'm in the mood for scrambled eggs. That should be enough. That's 20 eggs. I'm gonna drink this while I cook and see how much I can get down before I even eat my first bite of breakfast. Also, keep in mind, if you are in weight loss mode, if you are in fat burning mode and your body is burning up stored fuel instead of whatever you're chewing and swallowing, that's an exhausting process for your body. And if you feel tired, rest as much as possible. This is why Susan Pierce Thompson says during the weight loss phase, keep your bunny slippers on. I get an email every morning from, from Way FM. And the word on the way today was Philippians 4, 8. All things that are excellent and worthy of praise, think of these things. Guys, that takes a conscious effort. And I have um, shared with you all that I've been dealing with some anxiety and just some um, just added stress of our, um, our schedule flipping and flopping. And um, it takes a conscious effort to keep our mind focused on things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Let's read this together. I absolutely love this Bible. The NIV, let me pull it out of here. The NIV, there it is. Life Application Study Bible, New International Version. You can get these on Amazon for like $42. Um, I went back here after I put tabs in it. I highly recommend tabs. And I put a little red marker on all these letters that Paul wrote. So here's the book of Philippians. Uh, where to go? Where did the book of Philippians go? There it is. The book of Philippians, chapter 4. Verses 6 through 8. Actually, let's just start here on 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything. By prayer and petition with thanksgiving. By prayer, with petition, and with thanksgiving. It gives you specifics on how to, how to do this. Present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers... Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent and praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice, and the peace of God will be with you. Philippians 4, eight. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. It takes a conscious effort to keep our mind on such things. And that's what I'm going to do today. In fact, I'm going to put a little bitty heart on my palm to remind me throughout the day to keep my mind focused on things that are excellent and praiseworthy. In fact, I've got my little Amazing Grace t-shirt on. I will play the song Amazing Grace over and over today, and I will link it below. It's another good one to get stuck in our head and our heart. Here we go. Time to scramble some eggs. Tomatoes, burnt sausage, cheese, peanuts, and orange. We have a new September. Welcome, Anna. Anna is joining us for the last two weeks of September. You go, girl. Come on. This was five separate times that I thought about snacking or eating my kids' cheesy-looking pizza. I'm about to get this quilt. One, two, three, four more. Whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, praiseworthy. Let's think about such things. Do you guys want to see a cute, lovely baby cat? So that's it on September 16th. Thanks again for traveling with me, and I will see you all tomorrow.